This is a live deepfake of Simon Cowell on America's Got Talent, and here's Simon reacting to himself. This performance uses real-time deepfake to not only swap the singer's face with Simon's, but it also alters Simon's face to portray a younger version of himself. This technology is created by Metaphysic, an artificial intelligence company focusing on AI content generation tools and infrastructure. You may have already seen some of their other work. They are partnered with the popular TikTok account Deep Tom Cruise. This seemingly real account portrays actor Tom Cruise in various real life scenarios. The deep fake is so perfect, it's virtually impossible to tell that it's not really Tom Cruise. So how can we get even crazier with this tech? Well, if you pair Metaphysic with a synthetic voice startup called Respeecher, you can get some insane results. Respeecher is a voice cloning tool that essentially creates deep fake audio. In the latest season of AGT, Metaphysic used Respeecher to enhance the voice and audio during the live deep fake of the famous rock and roll king, Elvis Presley. In addition, Simon Cowell was deep faked once again with the addition of Heidi Klum and Sofia Vergara faked as background singers. What's mind blowing about this is that it's happening in real time with such quality and accuracy. So how is a deep fake different from a face swap filter like on Snapchat or TikTok? Before I explain, please like the video to feed the almighty algorithm. To put it simply, deep fakes are harder to make but end up looking better overall. Face swaps are quick and easy but don't look too convincing. Deep fakes are typically trained via machine learning models. Essentially, you feed an algorithm a ton of images of human faces so it can first learn what faces are, how they move, and what they look like at different angles. Next, you would feed images of a specific face that you want to deep fake, and it will learn how that face looks and moves. You can then superimpose that face onto another person with some editing. And usually the more time you give the algorithm to learn, the better the deepfake will end up looking. Face swap filters on the other hand use a geometric face mesh to copy and paste one person's face onto another. An algorithm recognizes key points on a face and creates a virtual mesh grid on top of it. It can then recognize the same points on two different faces, swap them with one another, and then add some blending and feathering to help it match. Metaphysic most likely used a combination of the two methods by training an algorithm on both the singer and Elvis's face beforehand, and then using face swap technology to make it happen live. I'm sure they also carefully choreographed the routine to make sure the face was always in the correct position on camera so things didn't get out of whack. The key thing to note is that deepfakes and face swaps have previously been used separately, with deepfakes being manually edited into pre-existing videos and face swaps happening live through apps like Instagram and Snapchat. But now the technology has advanced to the point where deepfakes and face swaps can be used together to create a near-perfect counterfeit of a live person. Like most technology, it can be used for both good and evil which means I have some good news and some bad news in that order. Before I get into how this technology can be even more entertaining and solve problems, please subscribe because more crazy AI videos are on the way. The deep fakes you commonly see circulating around the internet are mostly for parody and humor. One notable channel is Control Shift Face on YouTube. This channel deep fakes various celebrities into famous movie clips, like this Terminator scene with Jim Carrey, Brad Pitt, and Sylvester Stallone as Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Arnold as one of the punks. Deep fakes will be used more commonly in movies and TV to portray actors as younger versions of themselves, like LeBron James, or even include deceased actors like in recent Star Wars films. Deep fakes could be used to create virtual reality experiences that are used in therapy to help people confront their fears or overcome phobias. If you combine deepfakes and chat GPT, this could allow for some interesting results. Imagine if you could speak with a dead relative, and they would talk and sound exactly like they used to. It could also be possible to change their age, so you could potentially talk to your grandparent when they were in their teenage years. This would require a decent amount of source material of them at all ages, but I think with smartphones nowadays, people have a lot of photo and video of themselves as well as their kids. 
so this is a more likely scenario to be possible for the next generation. Deepfakes are currently being used by a news station in South Korea. The news outlet created a deepfake version of their real news anchor named Kim Joo Ha. They stated they might continue to use the deepfake for some breaking news reports or possibly at times when the news anchor isn't available like late at night. And this is where things start to get a little bit gray. So deepfakes have mostly been used for entertainment with no major negative societal consequences or reactions. The real question is, how much mayhem can deepfakes cause? Do they have the potential to instigate World War III? Perhaps a deepfake of a powerful nation declaring an invasion on a neighboring country? Attempts to distort messages, take things out of context, or fabricate fake events to serve malicious motives can quickly mislead people and stir mass reactions. Less obvious repercussions revolve around the growing distrust for media content and development of fake news. People already think of TV and the internet as agents of mind control and mediums for spreading lies. So repeated exposure to deepfakes may eventually numb people into indifference as it becomes more difficult to tell what's real and what's not. As a result, people could strategically exploit this weakness to stir doubt about actual events. Unfortunately, the dark side of deepfake content is abundant on the internet. A large amount of fake media produced and consumed online is deepfake porn, with the stolen faces of famous actresses, models, and online personalities. People will likely continue to weaponize deepfakes to commit cyberbullying and cybercrime like phishing, identity theft, and spoofing, manipulate politics, influence voter decisions, create misinformation campaigns, and manipulate stock prices, and even blackmail or create revenge porn. I think manipulation of news, misinformation, and politics are seemingly the most dangerous implications of deepfakes. These have the potential to cause civil unrest or worse. So how can we detect deepfakes? Is there a foolproof way? The short answer is no, not at the moment. But here's some tricks to keep in mind. For the time being, the easiest way to spot deepfakes is to look closely for any auditory flaws, misplaced shadows, patchy skin tones, and flickering around certain areas during movement. Areas to watch are the forehead, neck, and especially the mouth. No matter how smoothly someone renders a fake, most of the time you can detect media manipulation if you know what to look for. MIT has created the Detect Fakes website, a research project designed to help identify techniques to counteract AI-generated misinformation. Another company, Kaggle, started a competition with a million dollar reward for the team that could create the best deepfake detection algorithm. There are many companies developing their own software to detect deepfakes. This could be a lucrative field in the near future. If creating deepfakes with AI is as easy as hitting a button, the internet will soon become flooded with fakes of all kinds. Although, it is possible that major media sites like YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok may have their own detection algorithms and provide a disclaimer on videos that are determined to be fake if or when this becomes a huge problem. Have you seen a deep fake that blew your mind or totally fooled you? Share it with me in the comments and let me know your thoughts on deep fakes. Given its ability to create synthetic media, Deepfake technology can be a gnarly tool in the hands of malicious actors. There's always the fear of people using a convincing deepfake to perpetuate political agendas like smear or misinformation campaigns and spread fake news. However, I believe deepfakes created with good intentions will far outweigh the negative, and technology to detect deepfakes will likely progress just as fast, if not faster, than deepfakes themselves. Above all, the most important lesson about deepfakes is that we humans hold the key to the truth. MIT said it well. Rather than fine-tune the best machine learning model for this deepfake detection competition, we are curious about strategies and techniques for building public awareness of of deepfake technology and helping ordinary people think critically about the media that they consume. As AI advances and deepfakes become better at deception, at least one thing remains true. You can't trust everything you see on the internet.